Okay, so this is tasting update number 13. We're in Paris now, in an eclectic apartment in the Marais, with uh, very few places to sleep, but two pianos. That's right. We spent uh, yesterday in the Jura, a new region for us, uh, tasting with a couple producers. And then in the evening, we went to a very interesting and, and lovely uh, dinner at the Claude Vougeot with 600 of our fellow Chevalier de Testament. The Jura is a charming region that's about an hour to the east of, of Bone, and they're best known for these white wines uh, that are oxidized. Uh, they, they allow them to age in barrels and don't top up the top of them, so there's this yeast that forms across the top of them and it gives them these really interesting nutty and kind of honeyed flavors. We tasted with three producers and we're excited to add one of them to our lineup this fall. We got back to Bone, threw on some tuxes, and walked over to the Sep, where we caught the bus to the Chevalier de Testavin evening at the Clos Vougeot. It's called the Chapitre. It's really quite an event. There were 600 people there from all over the world. Um, everyone dressed to the nines, and, and uh, we all had this dinner in this wonderful basement part of the Clos Vougeot. The Clos Vougeot is a 12th century chateau that is impeccably preserved and is the worldwide headquarters of the Chevalier de Testavin. As you can see, there was lots of singing and dancing and fanfare, and uh, Michel Gros and his wife Georgia were our guests, and we had a wonderful evening with them. It's really nice to, to connect with Chevaliers who are visiting from Boston and uh, to enjoy a wonderful meal with really excellent wines that lasted quite late into the night. <laughs> so as it turns out, it was a very late night last night. It was a very long dinner, and uh, we didn't have time to put together a video post for you for yesterday, so we're doing so today. Tomorrow we head back to the States, and tonight we'll go out to dinner in Paris. I understand there are a few restaurants in this town. So that's it for tasting update number 13, and uh, we'll see you back here for one more time tomorrow.